Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and this is the Diva Den where I like to talk all things home related. If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy yourself. Maybe take a browse around my channel and see if there's any other videos that you might enjoy. Check some out and uh, I hope you give them a like and maybe even think about subscribing before you exit on out. Well today I am excited to be participating in another challenge, another uh, DIY fall decor challenge and it is being hosted by Christina at the DIYMommy.com and I will leave the link to her channel below because there will be a playlist for this and there will be lots of great videos showing fall DIYs, fall decor, lots of good things to do with fall. So if you enjoy fall, you'll love the playlist. Now the rules for this challenge are really simple. You just Think of your fall either DIY project, it can be a project, a craft, it can be a recipe you want to share, it can be a tablescape, it can be a tour of a room that you've decorated for fall, a whole house tour that you've decorated for fall, whatever you like. You, the parameters are pretty open and it's pretty exciting. So that's what's going to make this great is there's going to be so many different things to see from so many great YouTubers out there. So I'm excited to show you what I've done. I've done a couple of simple little crafts that I want to show you and I'm going to show you how I incorporated them into my home decor. I'll take you on a little bit of a tour. I've really cut back on my fall decor. Well, I thought I had, but my husband doesn't think I did. But I really cut back, I thought, this year on my decor. But I made up a couple of things um, that I that I really love. Some of these things are based off things I saw in stores that were outrageously priced and but I love them and I wanted them in my home for the season this year. I looked at a few and I thought well maybe I could do uh, something with that on my own at home. So I gave them a shot and I'm pretty proud of the way they turned out. I think they're really cute so I hope you enjoy them. So thank you, Christina from the DIYMommy.com. This was a great challenge and uh, I'm so happy that you opened it up to everybody. So thank you once again. So be sure to check out her channel linked below and all the other great videos that are gonna be on there. So I'm gonna take you around and show you what I did. So all I did was place some burlap ribbon and some uh, buffalo check ribbon on a pillow in my front hall and then on this little wall hanging I put a little pick of fall decor on it to just brighten it up and then as you walk into my dining room on this uh, side table I have some pumpkins and this hey there pumpkin sign which I actually made and uh, it was Pinterest inspired and I just love it I think it's really really cute and then underneath with my silver tea set is one of my favorite little fall decor. It's this feather little rooster uh, turkey, if you will. Um, I just love him. And he just sits here with my silver. For this first project, I was inspired by all those really cute farmhouse fall signs that you see in all the craft stores and all the decor stores and all the ones that are made out of wood that just stand there. So I thought I'll try to make my own and I had this piece of wood just sitting around my house. It's just a spare piece of wood I had and uh, I painted it up with some chalk paint, some cream chalk paint. I gave it a good coat of chalk paint and then I looked on Pinterest for some inspiration and I found this really cute sign that said hey there and I still have to write pumpkin so what I did was I just searched on Google some pumpkin uh, images that I would want to use on this and I found one that I liked and I printed it out and then I just simply used Mod Podge and a little brush to glue it onto the front of the sign. And I just stuck it up here in the corner. For the lettering, I simply used this paint pen that I got at Michael's. Just a black paint pen that I got at Michael's. And I tried to copy as best I could the letters on the sign on Pinterest. And then I went to write pumpkin and it was kind of scrolled on it and it didn't look very good. So I just 
sanded it a little bit and gave it another coat of paint to get rid of it. So now I just have to write the word pumpkin. On my dining room table is another uh, project that I just did this year. I took an old Ikea lantern that I had, I hot glued some floral foam to the top and then just placed a bunch of fall picks that I got at Michael's on the buy one get one sale and again those same ribbons that sit on the pillow in my front hall. And then on my buffet right beside it is a basket that I have filled with some other decor and did a garland of leaves around everything just from the dollar store. That uh, recipe holder, that Ray Dunn inspired recipe holder I made and I'll leave the link to that tutorial up above. And these pumpkins were a great find this year. I found them at my local thrift store. They were a good deal and I love them in here. They're the perfect color for this area. And here in my front hall down the way is just my uh, little table in my front hall and I've had this floral arrangement for years and I still love it. And this give thanks, the blocks I got years ago at a grocery store and then of course just some more fall picks with another orange pumpkin. And then in my dining room, here's, here's my fireplace mantle. Most of this stuff is from the dollar store. That sign is from the dollar store. I placed some leaves around it, some other pumpkins. And this cute little felt leaf garland again is from the dollar store. These uh, florals I've had for years and they have found many different spots in my home to sit. I thought it turned out really pretty. And here on the uh, table in my living room I just put on a cake plate a bunch of other little pumpkins I got at the Dollar Tree and that beautiful sparkly acorn I got at Pier 1 this year and I couldn't resist it so it sits there it's also one in my dining room and I love owls and this little guy just makes me smile every year so I just put him with a little pumpkin So I have another piece of little wood, it's just a tiny little piece, but you know, waste not, want not. So I am going to do another little sign that is just simply going to say fall. But I'm going to use some orange, just orange craft paint I got at the dollar store. And uh, again, I'm going to use my black marker to write on it, and I might even put a few little leaves on the top as embellishment. So I ended up placing that little fall sign just in the corner of my kitchen along with this beautiful pumpkin candle holder I got at Pier 1 years ago and I still love this thing. And then the little owl is actually from my thrift store as well and I will have a video coming up showing you what he actually looked like before and I just did a quick little DIY on him. But this was so much fun to show you the few little spots in my home that I've decorated for fall and the few little uh, DIYs that I did to spruce up my decor a little bit. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. And I want to thank Christina from DIYMommy.com for hosting this DIY fall decor challenge. It was so much fun to participate in and I'm so glad I did. I'll leave the link to her channel below and be sure to check out the playlist. I just know there's going to be some wonderful things going on. I can't wait to watch myself. So until next time guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, until next time, I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye you guys.